Hi guys, in Leslie's Kitchen today, what we're going to be looking at is the Andrew James Single Induction Hob. So let's take a closer look at this, see what's in the box and see how it performs. Alright guys, what we're going to be doing now is taking a closer look. Again, this is the Andrew James Single Induction Hob. Um, it's in a lovely design box as you can see. It says on it uh, LED display, 10 level power adjustment, 10 level temperature settings, easy to clean, temperature from 60 to 240 and a timer of up to 3 hours, 180 minutes. So uh, there's the box. We'll take a look inside now and see what's in there. Nicely packed. Now I've already opened this one, so as you can see what I've written here is top left and top right. And the reason I've written that is so that when I come to repack it all, I have to put this away, um, I know exactly which way that this polystyrene fits onto the device because often you never know which way up it is and you're trying to struggle away for 20 minutes. Anyway, so that's why I've written those on. So I highly recommend that you do that. Save a lot of hassle later. Yeah. It's a very light unit. Weighs probably about three pounds, I would think. There we have. A decent length of cable on it, as you can see. That must be what, one, two, nearly three feet long. And as you can see, we've got a nice, smooth glass surface. It's plastic everywhere, it's plastic. However, it's a nice plastic, if there's such a thing. It's a good build quality. Nice control panel. On the reverse, you must keep that free of debris, packaging materials, etc. When, you're, when it's in use. So don't stand this on a cloth and then start to use it because this very well may get blocked and that's obviously releasing the, uh, the heat as it builds up. Now what it says on there is that basically a pan that you fit has to fit within the circle uh, and the type of pan that you use on this is also apparently quite important. Uh, according to the uh, instructions uh, the aluminium pans might not work some work, some don't, uh, but we'll find that out in a second. So let's just plug it in and see what it does. Right, so straight away the power's come on and it's in standby. Now the functions, in order to operate the device you must put a pan on it because you can't turn the thing on without there being a pan on the plate. That's just a safety feature. So once we've got it on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one and a half litres of water to the pan and the water temperature, just as a matter of interest, is 17.7 .7 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to see uh, how long it takes to bring it up to boiling. So we'll add the water. And on the function, Where we're on power, do it again. So we're on power setting 5, which is 120 centigrade. Now, let's see how long it takes to bring that up to the boil. I will increase the temperature on the dial. Now it's going up in 20 degree sections, as you can see. It's 240 degrees centigrade. So if we go down, now the lowest it will go to is 60. 
and it seems to be jumping in 20 degrees every push. So we've actually got them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten setting levels as far as temperature is concerned. If we move on to the power, there's no indication of temperature, but the heat has gone off, so I'm assuming it's up to that temperature. So we've got we've got ten power settings on that, but again, there's no indication of what that temperature is. It's just number ten or number five. So I prefer the temperature one where you know what it's saying. So I'm going to set this to something more realistic, like 120. In fact, yeah, we'll leave it to 120. So we're now up to 1 minute 48 seconds, uh, and I can see little bubbles in the bottom. So things are happening. It's quite quiet, as you can hear. It's not an awful lot of sound. So I'll let this tick away and then I'll come back to it in a second and hopefully this time I will be more advanced and the water will be near the boiling. Alright guys as you can see we are now coming up to boiling. The uh, bubbles are appearing in the bottom of the pan. Temperature is now 7 minutes so it's taking 7 minutes to bring 1.5 litres of cold water or room temperature water up to currently we're at 85 degrees according to the thermometer 87 agitated a little to make sure it's evenly warmed Now that is effectively now boiling, it's 95 degrees, 95.1, 96, yeah, now. now we're actually boiling at that, that's the temperature, now something I will tell you, um, about a safety feature of this is that if you now remove the pan you won't be able to put the pan straight back on it because the plate will have become red hot and you will get an H appearing on the screen which means it's overheated and that's not that this is actually generating any heat or anything underneath it is generating any heat the heat that's in the glass sheet is what's coming from the pan it's the pan that's hot and it's transferring the heat to the glass and a sensor inside is picking that up and if it's too hot you won't be able to turn it on so if you find that you've cooked your cauliflower let's say and you're now wanting to put another pan on there don't remove this pan you need to drop the temperature drop the temperature before you take the pan off and that will allow it to cool a little bit otherwise you might be waiting 10 minutes uh, before you can actually fire the thing up again um, and that's about it really. It's a, it's a really well designed piece of kit. It's good quality, nice components, easy to use. The only thing that I think is a negative is the temperature control on it, which actually you can't change the temperature. It's set as we've seen. It goes up in 20 degree lumps, sections. Um, so if you wanted to uh, boil something at 7, 70 degrees centigrade, you wouldn't be able to do that. You can do it at 60 or at 80, but you can't do it at 70. So that's a bit misleading really, because you can't actually change the temperature. It's preset. But other than that, fabulous item. I think I paid something like £35 for this, including the delivery. Uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a link in the description, so that if you wanted to purchase one, you can, you can visit the, the guy. Uh, obviously it's nothing to do with me the business I don't get paid by them they don't offer me anything it's just purely and simply I thought you should know what this is actually like and my experience and I've had it for about two weeks is that it works perfectly and it does a really good job 
So there you are. That's the Andrew James single induction hob. Well there you go guys, that's the Andrew James single induction hob. As you've seen, it's extremely efficient, it's good value for money, it's lightweight, it's portable, what more could you ask for? Don't forget to subscribe on the link below and you will receive an email as soon as I release new videos. It costs you nothing.